Here to discuss that volatile situation in Ferguson, Missouri, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, the former mayor of Atlanta, Georgia, also a former United States co a Congressman from Georgia, I refer to Andrew Young. Ambassador Young, thank you so much for your time, and we welcome you to America's Forum. Well, I, I'm always glad to be with you. Well, uh, Ambassador, as Missouri's governor called out the National Guard, Governor Jay Nixon signed the executive order saying, quote, tonight, a day of hope, prayers, and peaceful protest were marred by the violent criminal acts of an organized and growing number of individuals, many from outside the community and state, whose actions are putting the residents and businesses of Ferguson at risk. These violent acts are a disservice to the family of Michael Brown and his memory, and to the people of this community who yearn for justice to be served and to feel safe in their own homes. Ambassador Young, calling out the National Guard has been done previously in our history in times of unrest. Obviously, Governor Nixon thought it was very important to do so in Ferguson. Meantime, Reverend Al Sharpton and others have called for the demilitarization of police, trying to, uh, they believe it'll de-escalate the tensions in Ferguson. What is your take on the governor calling out the National Guard and political figures, whether Reverend Sharpton or Senator Rand Paul, talking about the growing militarization of police? Well, you know, I, I'm I'm a one who went through this, but uh, I was blessed in that the mayor back in 1960s, uh, who had the first. Uh, social upheaval here in Atlanta did something very courageous. He went out himself <laughs> and got on top of a car with a bullhorn and addressed the crowd. And they dispersed. But he basically showed them respect as their representative. And that's all it took to calm that. We followed that up by bringing the business community together and realizing that we had two major problems. We had a jobs problem, and we also had a problem of the integration of our police force. And we started working on that. We ended up with a force that's about half and half black and white. But more significant to me is that it's 30% female. Uh, and it's a it's a police force that works with the community, and we did what we call community policing. And the only two incidents that I had during the time, the eight years that I was mayor, I was lucky in that they were not racial, but one was a, a young white policeman who shot another young white uh guy who was uh, who did have a knife but he was one of the younger policemen and he was he was not trained he, he didn't have enough experience to, to deal with that alone and I had to go out there uh, and with him and address the crowd and apologize for that um, in the other situation it happened right in a Sears Roebuck where one of our more experienced black policemen refused to pull his gun on a perpetrator and made an attempt, a valiant attempt, uh, to talk him down. But before any help could come, um, the perpetrator shot him. Um, he was deranged, and we lost one of our great heroes in our law enforcement. It's really difficult, more now than it was then, I think, in some reason, ways. Uh, but it, it's really difficult to police a community if you are not involved, if the police and the community are not in partnership. And so, Ambassador Young, during your days as mayor in Atlanta, saying a couple of things happened. Number one, an emphasis on community policing, and number two, as mayor, you thought it was important to be actively involved. Uh, what is that old saying? 90% of life is showing up 
and and you would be there on scene when there would be difficult situations. A whole yeah, lot. And I would yep. I would never go with. I mean, I I did have to because we we were involved in drug wars and and our police were very much under armed. They still had old six shooter revolvers, and it took me a little. It was a little controversy for me as a person with a nonviolent background uh, to say that our police needed. Uh, um, well, I think we ended up with uh, with with revolvers uh, that had um, um, clips of eleven or thirteen. And policemen carried extra clips with them, but they had to be better armed because our criminals uh, back then even were using uh, uh, ex-military rifles. And so obviously law enforcement has to have the arms to enforce the peace. In Ferguson. They, they do, but yes. the arms uh, approaching a, a, a crowd with... Um, uh, you know, all of that military gear, the presence of tanks, um, I mean, that's really not for local problems. And the we certainly have heard to be a part of the community. I, another story I remember, we had a, 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 mo a, a crowd of about 50, 60,000, and we had about 20 black, they happened to be all black policemen, but they were all over six feet tall. And um, they started looking at how they were gonna move this crowd back. And a, a little lady, about five feet four, uh, who happened to be the sergeant in charge, said, gentlemen, let me handle this. And she backed them up and she reasoned with the crowd. She turned them around. Uh, little by little, got them to turn the people back around, and everybody walked away. I mean, it's 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 a matter of respect. And in domestic politics, uh, and in law enforcement, uh, even the most hostile environments uh, have got to be met with respect for the citizenry. I used to say to my policemen, look. These are the people who pay your salary. Uh, I also got the policeman about a 75% raise during the eight years I was mayor. And, and Mr. Mayor, or mm -hmm. former Ambassador Young, in the here and now, with what has happened in Ferguson, uh, the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, federalizing the case, weighed in, asked for a second autopsy. In your opinion, does the presence or the involvement of the federal government help or hurt the situation in Ferguson? Well, I think it only, it, 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 it probably will help because it will back down both groups. And uh, I, think, I think it will, it will be a de-escalation. What's going on now is not working. Uh, and it's only getting worse. I thought there'd be one night of, of protest, uh, and then we might start a, a, a discussion, a committee, or, or, or some rational uh, evaluation on the part of the, the police and the community. Uh, but this police force does not feel, well, I don't blame police, and this is not a criticism, but I, I watch these young men and women uh, stop cars on the it's highway. A, it's a challenging job to be sure, uh, Mr. Mayor, former Ambassador Young. We'll have to leave it right there. We thank you for the generosity of your time. Hope to visit with you again soon, and America's Forum continues.